show how the empty local variables are supposed to work. Um, here you can see a really basic SAS file. Um, I just emptied out the CTA so you could just see the demo. So a SAS file, and then here on the right is the compiled CSS file. We already have the local variable defined, which is just the name of the component. And then here we have an empty map in case we want to add any local variables. And down here you can see I just added a simple color of blue to the host, which is not ideal. We'd rather have custom variables in place um, so that we have hooks to override things if needed. So I'm going to start by just adding pfe var, which is the function that can call any color from the list of theme variables. So I'm just going to call link. And you can see right away this has a benefit of actually looking up the color from the theme, which is 06C, which is our link color, and it adds an empty theme hook so that if someone has a theme turned on, um, they have the opportunity to override what that color is, and it provides the fallback. So I had to do very little work to go figure out what the actual link color is, uh, but this is only halfway there because ideally, um, if you've got a very customized component, this is not true of every property, but a very customized component, you probably want to have an empty local variable or a PFE CTA uh, custom property so that you have the opportunity to override it on a component level as well. So let's update this function to PFE local and here we're just gonna make up a name, a custom color. Uh, you might want to be more specific than that depending on what it is that you're theming, if it's a link or an arrow or something else. So I'm just gonna create the name of the variable up here as well, custom color, and I'm just gonna show you with the color blue what that looks like. So you can see it looks pretty similar. Um, it has PFE CTA, it's built that based on the name of the local variable. And then custom color is you know, the name of this uh, key in the map. And if I wanted to, I could actually add a fallback here. Um, I could override what that is. So let's just do red and show you what that looks like. So this means that um, I, can, you know, I can override it, I can just provide this empty hook. Uh, but it's not going to look up to the map. It's going to allow me to override it on a in, like a one-off instance in case I had multiple um, colors in the file and I needed to do something special for a particular variant of the component. I always have that option. Um, so you wouldn't do this very often, but it is there. Okay, so let's bring that out and go back to the default here, custom color blue. Uh, but now let's add that PFE var function up here and let's look up that link color again. So now you can see, oh, it's getting cut off. Let's scooch it over. Now you can see that we actually have two opportunities to override uh, the color for this component. Here's the empty local variable, uh, meaning empty meaning we don't expect that somebody's already going to have this CSS property defined uh, in their theme layer or on their site. Uh, so this is, and the component itself is not defining it, right? We don't see any instance of this custom property with a value in this file. So it's empty. Uh, so it means the browser will just skip over it. It'll move on to the next one, uh, which may or may not have a value. Probably it does. We are recommending that people set up a theme um, so that all of the components look alike and they can override colors to match their site. Um, so maybe probably this has a property, or sorry, has a value. Uh, but if it doesn't, it falls back to 06C, which again is defined by the PFE library um, in our PFE SAS. There you go.